Shalom Sim Racers and Auto Sports Enthusiasts. Welcome to the Harling Hebrew Racing Channel. I'm Harling Hebrew and thanks for tuning in. Today I'm doing a tutorial on setting the sensitivity and calibrating the Thrustmaster T80 racing wheel. We're going to start as always in Race Central and as you will may know by now I like to use the paddle shifters to navigate through Project Cars menu instead of hitting the option button and we're going to hit the options and help to navigate in straight to controls and you're going to use the paddle shifter the R1 paddle shifter to navigate to configurations well let's start by calibrating my Thrustmaster T80 is already reset for the sake of this tutorial so we're going to we're going to go into well before we calibrate the wheel since we're on it let's just go ahead and set the gearing you can either set it for a manual or you can set it for auto automatic transmission uh, the great thing about project cars is even though it's in automatic is still register as an automatic sequential shifter so your pedal shifters will work while you're driving while you have your transmission set for automatic transmission and the great thing about that is even if you don't know how to really tune the transmission you can always manually shift the transmission just to keep your RPMs high and driving in project cars when you're coming out of corners these cars really like to be having the RPMs more at the higher range that's just keeping your car rotating towards the apex now we have the transmission set to automatic and to calibrate the wheel we're going to press the square to start the calibration, now we're in the wheel calibration. To start, we want to press the X button. Now, the first turn of the wheel, you're going to turn it counterclockwise, fully counter, fully counterclockwise. And if you look at the diagram, you can see, especially if you have a Thrustmaster T80, like I do, that is turning the wheel from lock to lock. And you're going to press the X button to move next. Now you're going to relax the wheel, let it go back to the natural position or the neutral position. Now we're going to turn the Thrustmaster T80 90 degrees. If you look at the diagram, the wheel is not turning to its full capacity. And this is just to ensure that when you're driving, you will be able to turn the wheel of any car from lock to lock. This is going to give you a little bit of cushion because if you turn your wheel all the way to the extreme when you need that full lock you may not get it with some cars so I, I believe that's the reason why they have it offset just a little bit when you lock in the program and if you look at the readout for the, the degree of rotation it's going to be about 15 degrees to 15 you're going to press the square button there let the wheel return to the neutral position and press the X button again to save now to calibrate the pedals you're going to hit the L2 button press the X to start and fully press your brake and release fully press your throttle and release and press the X to finish. Press the X again to save. Now we're going to go into configuration. Here you have your steering dead zone and your steering sensitivity. What I normally start mine off in is about six. Steering sensitivity you might want to have that set to about 20 or 25 
because the steering input will it'll just be too much input when you're racing in cars like the rough they just won't drive smooth you'll notice that they're kind of wobbly every little small movement that you make on the wheel it registers in the steering and that's not really what you want if you're trying to make smooth passes or even if you're just hugging the edge of the road you want to be able to hold a straight line and that's the main thing about that sensitivity it'll make it hard to hold a straight line at high speed so you want to be able to to turn your wheel from lock to lock but you also want to be able to make a high speed straight line without any weavering brake sensitivity I normally turn mine up to 60 when you're driving against the AI on level 7 or higher the AI they will out brake you and they will beat you in braking so you're gonna have to be able to hit your brakes as late as possible and still be able to hit your marks because if not the AI is just going to take the apex on you they're going to outbreak you they're going to break later than you and they're going to outbreak you going into the apex if you don't have your brake sensitivity set high enough uh, with the Thrustmaster T80 we don't have force feedback <laughs> but uh the control input mode this works for the controller um, I don't think it works for the Thrustmaster T80 um, if it does work for your Thrustmaster T80 please leave a comment because I would like to know if there's a problem with my setup and once you have everything set you have your brake sensitivity set you have your throttle sensitivity set your steering sensitivity set and your steering dead zone set now once you have everything set you can press press the circle button and as you can see the save indicator just indicated that everything that you just set has been saved we can navigate back to race mode hit the left paddle shifter go into solo we can start at Bathurst and if this video has been any help to you I would appreciate it if you hit the like button and also subscribe and if you don't have project cars and you're a Gran Turismo fan, Gran Turismo 6, Gran Turismo 5 you gotta go out and get project cars. Project cars, the tuning is unbelievable you have far more options you can even tune the tire pressure you can adjust it from left to right from front to back everything the suspension from front to back from left to right the transmission the gearing the LSD I may even do a video I may I may do a video on how to navigate through it but not really giving tuning tips because I'm not the best tuner. Let's try and make up some ground here off the lights. Keep it clean and keep your wits about you. Bit of a moment. We've got to catch the fact now, so don't let them get away. Push, push, push. You can do it. Shalom Sim Racers, and I'll see you on the grid.